Nahmaduhu wa nusalli ala rasulil kareem amma abad. There is an incident mentioned about Allama Yusuf bin Nuri rahmatullahi alayhi. On one occasion when he was told about certain threats that were made against him and his institution, he simply replied by saying, Mere tamam ma'amulat sahih hai. All my ma'amulat are in place. No harm can be done to me. Subhanallah. So that is the barakah of consistency in a'mal. There is a saying in Arabic, فَإِذَا افْتَقَرْتَ إِلَى الزَّخَائِرِ لَمْ تَجِدْ ذُخْرًا يَكُونُ كَصَالِحِ الْأَعْمَالِ When you are in search for treasures, you will never find a treasure more valuable than good deeds. On one occasion, Abu al-Haytham رضي الله عنه, he asked Nabi صلى الله عليه وسلم to choose a slave for him. Nabi صلى الله عليه وسلم said, خُذْ هَذَا فَإِنِّي رَأَيْتُهُ يُصَلِّي وَاسْتَوْصِ بِهِ خَيْرًا Take this one because I had seen him engage in salah and deal with him in a good manner. So more value was attached to a person with a'mal because success is not based on lineage or wealth. That is why Nabi sallallahu alayhi wa sallam checked upon his household for punctuality upon a'mal. On one occasion, Hazrat Ali and Fatima radiallahu anhuma were resting. Nabi sallallahu alayhi wa sallam asked them, Ala tu salliyan, don't y'all make salah, thus creating more concern for amal in them. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will never look at our lineages and our appearances. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will focus on our hearts and our amal. Like a saying goes in Farsi, a person was boasting about his father being a king. Pidaram Sultan Bud. My father used to be so and so. So somebody asked him, Who are you and what have you achieved? So a person can have the best of lineage. It will not hold weight in the sight of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. As a hadith mentions, Man batta'a bihi amaluhu lam yusri' bihi nasabuhu. He who lags behind in doing good deeds, his noble lineage will not take him forward. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala give us tawfiq to make amal. Wa akhiru da'wana anilhamdulillahi rabbil alameen.